Law enforcement officials at all levels are challenged to do more with less. Nowhere is this more true than for those entrusted with ensuring the operation of safe and fully credentialed trucks. By empowering inspectors through technology, we can have a profound effect on the highway safety, industry efficiency and productivity, highway preservation, homeland security, and the capture of revenue due to state and local authorities. Armed with compliance information gathered by technology, inspectors can effectively target vehicles and carriers for interventions, such as roadside inspections, compliance reviews, and eventually direct enforcement based on results reported by the technology. The potential for moving technology from a screening tool to enforcement is the subject of an in-depth study in the state of Indiana at its Chesterton inspection facility on I-94, where the immense volume of truck traffic places significant challenges on commercial vehicle inspectors. We're real excited about working with CAPS Traffic Com about a pilot program here at one of our way stations in northern Indiana. And the technology that we're going to be using is a high-speed camera and uh, way in motion for high-speed vehicles, way, mainline way in motion. And that is something that we have not done from an enforcement perspective. We've used it as a screening tool, but not really as an enforcement tool. And so we want to look at the ability this technology presents to see if it brings a solution that we don't currently have. The Chesterton Project was initiated by CAPS Traffic Com, a global supplier of intelligent transportation solutions and road safety enforcement solutions. Construction began in April 2016, and the data that is generated over the next year will provide the basis for the system's performance assessment. Some might say that Indiana is defying conventional wisdom by even suggesting the move from using technology from screening to enforcement. I think in Indiana, I think we are uh, a leader in the nation in, in truck enforcement. And if we can find these technologies that help us be better than we are even today, then it's a no-brainer for us to, to be all in on these kind of technologies and exploring the possibilities. There were people who doubted that we could do electronic in inspections. And um, so, you know, maybe it's not for me to judge whether it is or isn't possible, but it's absolutely us, up to us to explore the possibilities of technology and see where it leads us. In no small part, the pilot project is moving forward because of the anticipated growth in truck traffic in the very near future. Freight is very important to the state of Indiana. We are expecting a huge increase in freight traffic, in particular oversize overweight trucks. And we want to make sure that we are prepared for that from an infrastructure standpoint to make sure that our highways and bridges are ready for the incoming increase in freight. With the growth in trucks comes a need for increased enforcement. This pilot program and the direct way in motion technology will offer us a way to create a level playing field and to go after those who choose not to comply. The project enjoys support not only from government, but also motor carriers. The Indiana Motor Truck Association is part of the pilot program. They are a partner with us and support this effort. CAPTCHA is confident Indiana will be pleased with the system and the benefits it will provide. Having previously tested this technology in the Czech Republic and in France, we're extremely confident that the performance will exceed our customers' expectations with this pilot. During the pilot study, as trucks drive down the road, their weight will be recorded at highway speed by an in-pavement way-in-motion device. At the same time, CAPTCH cameras identify the vehicles and can assess credential compliance. After the truck is manually weighed, the main line and static results are compared to assess system accuracy. The compliance aspect of the test is important because in 2014, Indiana completed a study of carrier credential compliance, which indicated something needed to be done because of safety and tax evasion reasons. We looked at the market and found that COPS had the best technology for what we were trying to do in the state of Indiana, which was find a WIM product that allowed us to weigh the trucks which allowed us to leverage that technology to improve enforcement and tax collection. One of the things that I'm excited about is that we're going to have an independent review of this with Purdue University, and they'll be lending some objectivity to this whole process so that if and when we need to go to the General Assembly and present any kind of proposal, we would have uh, empirical data that would stand behind our decision or our policy uh, focus. The addition of direct mainline enforcement to tools available to those charged with assuring commercial carrier compliance holds the potential to fundamentally alter how we think about truck enforcement. 
I believe if you couple mainline enforcement with what we're doing presently, it really does change the game. It's going to bring not only greater capability to the officer, but it's going to create an awareness among the trucking industry that there's a real need to comply with our laws. The Purdue assessment will be completed in the fall of 2016. The results are important to all stakeholders, especially in light of the growth in freight and enforcement's manpower limitations. Manpower is expensive, and in a role of smaller government in today's world, we have to look at using technologies to, to help my people be better at what they do. And that's the main focus for us. Is For me as a division commander, I just want to provide my people with the tools that make their job easier on a day-to-day -day basis. We'll never eliminate the human factor in law enforcement, nor, nor should we, but technology can help us be a tool, much like your gun or your car or your scales, um, that, that just will aid us in, in being better at what we do. At CAPTCH, we understand technology is a tool to empower people and automate administrative tasks to free those people to do what they do best.